Hey guys, uh, I'm excited. I got the Beta FPV motors and their 4S battery. These motors are 1105, 5000 kV. Uh, pretty stoked. Um, they had a 6000 kV for a while. Um, apparently, they say you can't use them um, on their new, newly released uh, 12 amp flight controller. Um, I'm excited. Um, I fly a trash can, so that's what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building. But I'm going to be reviewing this right now. This is still sealed. Um, as you can see, just got it um, from Beta FPV. Shipping took a while, took them two weeks. Usually they're pretty fast. I don't know why they took them two weeks this time. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, Let, let's start. Um, just uh, let's open them up. Let's start with the motors. No, these are supposed to be uh, 4S capable. Uh, two to three inch motors and now you can read details on the website let's see all right okay pretty standard uh, beta FPV packaging let's take them out uh, nothing there oh no there's some screws here Let's see. Abundance of screw diesel they look like uh, M2. Yeah. Okay. 5000 kV, baby. 4S. Oh, on the heavy side. Supposedly 5.4 grams. Um, let's see. Yeah, these are 5000 kV motors. So far. There's some, uh, I don't know what is this, is this a glue or something on this magnet? You can see it right there. Let me grab this, show you. Right here. A little glue or something. Um, well packaged. The motors, are, uh, the wires are not that long. Surprise, uh, I thought it was going to be longer. Um, yeah, let's see what the shaft is. Dimensions, I know dimensions. Look, 1.5, spot on. 4.9 higher, 1.5. Yeah, that's good. Cool, cool. 5000 kV, 1105s. Let's check them out. I wonder if uh, any other magnet has a... Nope, that one's clean. Wires are kinked a little bit right here. See it? All right. Let's check that one out. Looks good. There's a clip, retainer clip on the bottom, not on top. Pretty exciting. Let's see. Oh, there's a little bit of magnet glue right here. I don't know that that shouldn't affect it. Yeah, they're quite. They're larger than, I can tell the heftiness of this motor, this motor, um, yeah, so there they are. Let's do a weight comparison a little, um, just drop that, supposedly on the, on the website it says 5.4 grams, 6.1, I guess it's with the wire, so wire's 0.6 gram. So, six grams, six grams of motor, guys. 424. Yeah, look at there. 23 for four motors, 23.71. Exciting, exciting. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna build, uh, which frame I'm gonna use for this a little later. Uh, these are the 4S batteries they just came out with. Again, yeah, haven't unpacked this. This is the balance clip helpers. Nice touch. I'm not gonna use them when I fly, maybe, maybe when I'm charging. All right, let's see. Okay, each battery's packed. Okay. All right, let's quickly uh, measure the weight of this batteries. Let's see, zero it out. 
two. And the second one is 51.5. 51.5. .5. Okay, so pretty heavy. And then uh, just to give you an idea, um, the dimensions. I know it's not really accurate. Looks like uh, 16.5, 24.7, 64. Eight five. All right, and uh, let's measure the motors. Uh, I mean, not the motors, the motor wires. Let's say around forty seven, forty seven point five. Yeah. All right. Um, what I want to show you guys is the trash can frame, not frame, trash can. Um, I'm going to be uh, using the parts from the trash can. I uh, completely changed the FC and the video controller. Um, the video controller, the VTX, is the um, TBS Unify Nano 32. This is the Pro. Um, Pretty exciting. Gets kind of hot, so got to work on the uh, heat distribution, dissipation, I guess. Or um, and the flight controller is the 12 amp Beta FPV flight controller. That's the flight controller I will be using for uh, for for my build. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, the other frame, which I will show a little bit later, uh, which I will show in next after this. Um, but yeah, pretty excited. So yeah, this is a little dirty been using it all right now for the other frame um, I got this cool new frame on a taco RC this is a pickle frame pretty excited um, I'm gonna do a little review later in a separate video but this is what I'm going to be building um, for this frame Oof, those batteries look huge. I don't know about 4S on this frame, guys. What do you think? It's huge. It's going to be heavy. Um, yeah, this is going to be the 65. I tr I'm, tr I'm going to try to put 65 millimeters on there. Again, these are all 1.5. Let's do a quick measurement for the um, each shaft on the... Yeah, on the motors. Let's see how good they are. 1.49. Oops. 1.49. Okay, grab that one. 1.49. 1.49. Nice. Pretty, pretty good. We'll see. It's been a little rough. Um rougher than some other motors. All right, one thing I forgot to check and to show you guys uh, if that motor will fit the this frame. This is their not 1102's, 0802's frame. This is the 1103 frame. Okay, and I believe this is not a version two. But anyway, we'll go into reviews later. Um, just kind of Checking and seeing the patterns here. I know you probably hard for you to say to see. Oh yeah, baby. That fits. That's nice. I'm stoked guys. It's gonna be exciting build. Alright. Stay tuned for next video. I will be reviewing additional parts that will be coming in. Uh, and uh, we'll be just slowly building this sucker. Alright guys, 